Right now at six, a half a million Americans are living with heart failure. That number is expected to nearly double by the year 2030. Heart failure can result in a significantly diminished quality of life. But cardiologists at UW Health are involved in an innovative clinical trial that could change that. News 3 is the first news organization in the country to go into the OR and tell this story. And Dave Delosier joins us with that. Yeah, Charlotte and Eric, you know, given the number of Americans who deal with heart failure, the trial offers a great deal of hope. It is called CardiAmp therapy, and it involves injecting stem cells directly into the heart. It is cutting-edge science that at the end of the day has a very simple goal, to improve the quality of life. Perfect. Oh, it's exciting and a little nervous. At 81, for Dan Caulfield, this day brings a new lesson. Hopefully going to learn something. For Dan and his wife Mary, few lessons are more important than the ones that make life better. And we've been through a lot. I was 46 years old and had a heart attack. It was called a fatal heart attack in those days. And in the years since, Dan has suffered two more heart attacks. And since then, it's been sort of downhill. But <laughs> Today is about changing that. I figured it was possibly going to do something good for me. In this OR, Dan will be a pioneer of sorts. He is one of the first patients in the country in a clinical trial called CardiAmp therapy. The goal behind this study is the pivotal trial to confirm uh, whether or not this therapy actually works to improve the quality of life. Dr. Amish Raval is the director of cardiovascular clinical research at UW Health. At some level, though, if you've heard the old saying, patient heal thyself, Dan is about to do just that. 60 milliliters of his own bone marrow are withdrawn. The stem cells are then separated from the plasma, and Dr. Raval then uses a catheter to inject Dan's stem cells into the damaged areas of his heart. And we create a kind of a targeting map. And based on that targeting map, we have a really clear sense of where the damage is. And then my task is to go and try to get into the, the adjacent border areas. In prior studies, the stem cells helped improve heart function. They hope to do the same for Dan. Hopeful that we can improve things. I don't think we can necessarily cure the damage, but I think we can improve things. And that is really what this is about, improving quality of life. So it's not just a matter of uh, quantity of life, it's also a quality of life issue. And as in with any trial, it is about finding answers and improving life for the patient and those who will follow. If it doesn't help me, it'll help somebody later on. So this is uh, one of the few pivotal trials in the United States that's really, I think, going to pave the way for future studies. Now doctors will gauge Dan's improvement after a period of time by measuring how far he can walk in six minutes. The hope is his heart function will improve and allow him to walk further than his baseline distance. Now this is the third phase of CardiAmp therapy. Eventually 250 patients will be enrolled in the trial. In Eric and Charlotte, the trial is expected to last for two years, but if, a, if it is eventually approved by the FDA, it obviously could help millions of Americans. This is amazing. Oh, yeah. Amazing technology right there to see it all. Great science. Unbelievable. Thank Dave, you. thank you. you bet.